Good morning everyone, I am Vebha and this is Natural World. Today I am going to speak about industrialization and construction. You know that there are a lot of major climate factors that we have covered earlier in our videos, such as, such as planes and meat consumption and many more things. But let's not forget the minor factors, the largest ones being with 8% being industrialization and construction. You know that with the growing demand, we need more houses, we need more supplies. So where it's obviously beneficial if we're going to use all these um, supplies. But then look at the damage being done. We're not cleaning it and we're not removing all those waste. We're just letting it be there and we're still polluting more. So that's unfair and we need to stop that and reduce all our emissions right now because 2021 and 2022 are our last hopes. We cannot do any more experiments and we need to get to the solution and cut down the main problem right now. With the impact of industrialization and construction, it has become an unstoppable change, but the emissions already made can be reduced through artificial intelligence. Right now, artificial intelligence is our only key method and along with trees, which can help us survive in the coming centuries. And we need to sustain the environment in our personal way by doing our little thing, such as not using, making or constructing bigger houses, just live in small flats. It's still going to be the same feeling. But if you want to take some huge area, then you can do something of, and a fraction of that area. So let's get down to industrialization and construction. You know that right now, artificial intelligence is helping us create artificial cement. Incredible cement is artificial now. Yes, but there's also natural cement that was used earlier, but it's right now in a very small production rate. It's like only a few bricks a day. And like that, a huge project such as a building cannot be made for centuries maybe. And so we need to use the methods of artificial intelligence supported by uh, natural cement to construct these buildings. We should not cut down our trees, our big old banyan trees, just for our own cause without planting more of them. Coming to the point of trees, etc. Why don't we surround all our industries with trees? Or why don't we use renewable energy such as solar panels, windmills, and hydropower energy that we have already discussed about in short videos. Why don't we use those to run these industries? We could use small fractions for windmills, some for solar panels, and some for hydropower. We could also surround these industries by trees for whatever reason. They might be able to capture the carbon, or they might be able to help us give the proper use of that land. Because right now, the proper use of a land is when you plant trees in it. Because otherwise you're just gonna use them for your own personal use, which will again pollute more in the environment. And we do not want that to happen. So just plant more trees. So at the bottom of the line, we can help stop industrialization's impact on our atmosphere by using renewable energy, surrounding those industries by trees, old banyan trees to be in fact, or those trees which take in tons of CO2 at a time and can help our environment stop climate change. So these were some small but effective solutions. We can implement them as a society, but not at personal use. If you have any queries about this topic, then email us at kinguniversal35 at gmail.com. Also check out our website at sites.google.com. 
slash view slash nature is the world slash home. Share our videos, subscribe to our channel and stay safe, stay home. Thank you.